those of you who love to paint in Photoshop, I'm sure you probably have a Wacom tablet here or Cintiq. One of the things that Photoshop has never really been able to do is imitate bristles and true brushes. But that's changed. In Photoshop CS5, you are going to die for this new brush engine. A really welcome addition to Photoshop CS5 are these new natural media brushes. These are really super cool. Check this out. We're going to grab the brushes here. And you'll notice that we've got some different options here. We've got the brush tool. And let's just start with the brush tool. And let's just pop this open. Notice here we've got these different looking ones here. And of course, we can change the appearance at any time just by changing this to a list. And we can see you know, what we've got here. So check out these ones. Let's grab the flat, short, stiff one right now. And notice we've got these really cool, natural looking brush strokes. We can up the, open up the brushes panel. Notice we've got a brushes preset panel now too. We can play around with the presets or open up the brushes panel here. And we can see them here as well. You know, there's all these different types of brushes that create a very natural looking effect. What we can do too is while we're using them, let me just change the size, make it a little bigger here. Uh, you can see there's an animation here, which actually shows the animation of it as we're working. And right now I'm using a Wacom tablet um, and notice, even as I'm doing the tilt and stuff, it's starting to show an animation of what's happening, how hard I'm pressing versus pressing really light. You can see that the brussel tip hitting the baseline there. Let me press it really hard, see it goes down, or just light. So that's really neat. And of course, we can set up the proper uh, settings here. Let's go into the shape dynamics here. We can change the angle control. Let's change that to pan pressure. And now, we can see what happens here. You know, actually, we don't want pen pressure. We want pen tilt, actually. Here we go. And now as we go in here and we start to tilt the pen, we can start to get different looks and feels here. Uh, we have other options here, of course, things we're used to here, like the brush tip shape, of course. We can change the shape. Look at all these different options. I'm not going to get into all of those right now. Let's just go here and we're just going to grab a different brush. Let's grab, say, this one here. We're going to grab it, and you can see we got this little bristly brush. Another thing that's cool is when we hit the Option key to sample a color. Look, we get this cool uh, new view now, this heads-up display. This is part of the GPU that shows us exactly what color we had and what color we're about to replace it with. So we can see that. It's really nice. So we can grab that, and then we can go in here. Now, where this really gets good, though, is for people that don't have any painting ability, we can use this mixer brush. And now let me just change this to a different type of brush. I'm going to change this display back. I don't like it like that. And we're just going to grab, say, this one here. And now what we can do, we'll make it a little bit bigger. Check this out. We can start to smudge these colors together. Look, we can now mix the colors together. We could never do that before. Um, what's even cool is we can actually mix it from the background. So we can mix our painted colors with the background colors. So that's pretty neat. Uh, there's a couple of options up here. This here is showing us what's in the brush. So if I was actually uh, going to go in here, we've got some options here. We can load the brush. So where do we want to load the brush from? Wherever we click. And we can also clean the brush. So there we go. Now we've got a nice clean brush that we can start with. And you know what happens if we don't clean, you know, when we clean the brush. Let me just show you what happens. A clean brush, we start here, we get this nice color. Now if we don't clean the brush, see how it starts off actually turn these options off because these are auto cleaning. So we can start here and then we go here. Notice it starts to be muddy because it's not cleaned after each stroke. But we can set these options here where we can have auto cleaning turned on. So each stroke now it automatically cleans it. So it just depends on how you want to work with that. Of course, you know, it's, it's up to your own personal interpretation. Now, this is really neat though because we have, um, you know, options here we can load just the color. Or we could turn it off where we actually start to load the textures. And you'll see this in a moment here. Let me grab, uh, actually, this fan brush works pretty good. So I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to actually just change that brush size for one second here. And I'm actually just using my um, Wacom tablet here. Notice as I tab through, I can see this is the Intuos 4. So I can actually just use the wheel here just to save a little bit of time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to start here. I'm going to clean it first. Let's make sure that we clean the brush. And now I'm just going to start painting on this picture. And the really cool thing about this is that we are now able to mimic natural painting. So we can actually paint over photographs and get this really nice, realistic, you know, hand-painted look. 
So when we get to the edges here, we can smudge these up a little bit more, make them more interesting. See how the bristles just really start to show through? So we can just start to play around with that a little bit. And I'm sure if a, you know, a little bit of experimentation, you're going to be able to come up with some great results. In fact, I've seen some pretty amazing stuff that people have been doing with this tool. Um, one of them actually is uh, Julianne Cost has done some really nice stuff with it. Uh, so let's just play around a little bit more, just painting that, paint the beak maybe. And you can see we're starting to get that look where it looks like this was hand painted. We could change different types of brushes here to just uh, mess up the background a little bit. Let's grab that one and we can just smudge it up. You know, you can just kind of get the idea of the kind of things you can do with it. So this is the natural media brushes now in CS5, and I guarantee you're going to have a lot of fun with these.